People with diabetes mellitus type 1 require insulin injections whole life. Previously, insulin was derived from the pancreases of cows and pigs. But nowadays, we get insulin from insulin producing bacteria. It is the result of genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is when you change gene of organism or transfer genes within and across species to produce improved or novel organisms. With genetic engineering, it is possible to change human appearance, adaptability, intelligence, character or behavior. So, we can get superhumans with perfect appearance and highest intellect. Such researches already have begun. It is called germline gene therapy. CRISPR technology is used to edit any DNA, including human. With CRISPR technology, it is possible to cure almost any disease. But, the distinction between cure and enhancement can be difficult to establish. Also, there is concerns that the technology could be used not just for treatment, but for enhancement, modification or alteration of a human beings. Currently, germline modification is banned in 40 countries. But some scientists still do it. They let embryos grow for a few days without allowing it to develop into a baby. It is called non-viable human embryos. Genetic engineering uses two main methods to change organism DNA. First, recombinant DNA. It is, when you bring together genetic materials from multiple sources. If we combine two fragments of DNA, it is recombinant DNA. And second method is, artificial gene synthesis. Which means construct genes from nucleotides de novo. In other words, if you create new DNA in laboratory, it is artificial gene synthesis. As well as inserting genes, via genetic engineering you can also remove the gene, it is called knockout of genes. Genetically modified organisms, GMOs, are called organisms, plants, animals or microorganisms, in which the genetic material, DNA, has been altered. Genetically modified food has been sold since 1994. Flavor Saver Tomato was engineered to have a longer shelf life. But most current genetic crops are modified to increase resistance to insects and herbicides. Genetic engineering has potential to treat human genetic diseases. Via gene therapy, which means treatment of disease by repairing or reconstructing defective genetic material. Genetic engineering has been applied in numerous fields including research, medicine, industrial biotechnology and agriculture. Creating a GMO is a multi-step process. First is to choose what gene they wish to insert into the organism. The next step is to isolate the candidate gene. The gene is separated. By using restriction enzymes to cut the DNA into fragments, or polymerase chain reaction, PCR, to amplify up the gene segment. Before the gene is inserted into the target organism it must be combined with other genetic elements. These include a promoter and terminator region, which initiate an end transcription. Next step is inserting DNA into the host genome. Some bacteria can naturally take up foreign DNA. DNA is generally inserted into animal cells using microinjection, where it can be injected through the cell's nuclear envelope directly into the nucleus, or through the use of viral vectors. Genetic engineering has many applications to medicine. To synthesize insulin, growth hormone, follicle-stimulating hormones, for treating infertility, human albumin, monoclonal antibodies, anti-hemophilic factors, vaccines and other drugs. Genetic engineering is also used to create animal models of human diseases. To study and model cancer, obesity, heart disease, diabetes and other diseases. Gene therapy is the genetic engineering of humans, generally by replacing defective genes with effective ones. 
Clinical research using somatic gene therapy with several diseases, including chronic lymphocytic leukemia, CLL, Parkinson's disease and others. Alibagene Tiparvovec became the first gene therapy treatment to be approved for clinical use. It is designed a treatment for lipoprotein lipase deficiency, LPLD, which is a rare recessive disorder. Researchers are altering the genome of pigs to induce the growth of human organs, with the aim of increasing the success of pig-to-human organ transplantation.